options can be used to heal people's minds in psychotherapy, but also to mess up with their heads. In this video, you will learn how indirect compliments at the wrong time can be a powerful tool to prime people's minds on your favor. How manipulators use pattern interruptions on themselves to confuse you. By the end of this video, you will be able to not only spot them, but also apply them in your daily life. Welcome back, my body language bodies. And pattern interruption is a persuasion technique to switch a person's mental, emotional, or behavioral state to break their flow of consciousness in a smaller scale all the way to breaking their habits. You can think of it as an unexpected action that jolts them into a different state of mind. Some people think this comes from neurolinguistic programming and yes, studying NLP can give you different pattern interruptions for behavioral change, but it comes from way back in time. In my opinion, one of the pioneers to this technique was Milton Erickson, but the fundamentals are pretty much the same regardless if you're using it for psychotherapy or to defend yourself against manipulation. The first step is one, recognizing an unwanted pattern, which for our purposes could be any kind of behavior. Two, disrupting it by means of a word or a physical stimulus or both. And then three, lead the person away from the original behavior and into the desired behavior. Needless to say, this implies moral and ethics since you will be dealing directly with people's free will. So there's something that has to be said before you learn to use pattern interruptions. As any other mental warfare tool, you can use it to defend yourself or you can use it to attack other people. It's like a hammer. You can use it to build things, but some can use it for nefarious acts. So I'm assuming that you're going to use this knowledge for self-defense. And if you're afraid that toxic personalities could use this video and knowledge for their own purposes, well, I have bad news for you. They already know how to use this for their own purposes. So that's why I'm interested in you acquiring this tool so you can spot them instantly when someone tries to use them against you. That's why our first step is the most important. Not everyone that interrupts is doing it out of malice. Some people are just unpolite. Some of them just have little patience for you to finish what you're saying. But it doesn't mean that they are bad people. So once someone interrupts you, make sure you pay attention to what happens next. The easiest pattern interruption ever is the compliment. Everybody likes to hear something nice about themselves. The problem is that Everyone has a built-in BS detector that just knows when the compliment is not genuine. And the kind of compliment that I'm talking about is actions, not people's appearance or how nice they look, nothing of the sort. The best compliment for a pattern interruption has to be about an action of the past, something that the person did. And of course, we are talking about a live conversation, whether it's in person or through the phone. But the trick is that everyone expects that you say the compliment around the time of a greeting. Let's say that John meets Arthur and John knows that Arthur gave a great speech a few days back. They stumble upon each other, greet each other and like and then Arthur begins to talk about an upcoming project. That's when John interrupts him and says, hey, sorry to interrupt you, but I forgot to tell you that your speech was amazing. That is a pattern interruption with a compliment about an action. Now let's break down this sentence to see how it works. Hey, sorry to interrupt you, but I forgot to tell you that your speech was amazing. The first one is just being polite. Sorry to interrupt you. This is fundamental because, okay, people like compliments, but nobody likes to be interrupted. Excusing yourself takes a bit of away from that feeling. Then the words, I forgot to tell you. Notice that you could simply say, sorry to interrupt you, your speech was amazing, but adding that you forgot to tell something is a tiny self-deprecating bit, as in your memory failed you. That will make you sound more human because of your flawed memory and at the same time will increase their trust in you. Finally, you say the compliment itself. Your speech was amazing, or your cake was delicious, or your game was impressive. I cannot stress this enough. It has to be about something that the person did. Combining all these factors, the interruption will be more than welcome and will prime the person in a positive way towards you. Now, how can you tell if someone is using compliments as pattern interruptions against you? Well, manipulators can and will use this whenever you're criticizing or arguing with them. You could be expressing how disappointed or frustrated you are about something that they did and pop, they will interrupt you with a compliment. In fact, manipulators can even use these kind of interruptions on themselves. 
They could be making all these excuses, trying to convince you or of something, and then out of nowhere, they suddenly stop and pop a compliment out of the blue, such as, by the way, I know this has nothing to do with this argument, but uh, thank you for doing X for me the other day. Notice that this, more than being a compliment, is being thankful for something that you did for them. It is a subconscious reminder that you care about them, and if you care about them, then you should at least listen to what they are saying right now. They won't wait for any reaction on your part. They will go straight back to their excuses, but the seed was planted. Now that you notice that a manipulator is trying to minimize what they did by using a pattern interruption disguise as a compliment, what can you do? Well, first of all, we have to address a fundamental fact of life. You should not be around manipulators, period. You cannot cure or transform them. So the only thing you can do is deal with them. So please understand that when I give you tools to counteract their toxic behavior, it is only intended to give you some space and time while you cut them off your life. You don't want to be permanently dealing with this kind of people. So they say, oh, thank you for doing X for me the other day. And since they will go straight back to their excuses, <laughs> you will need to interrupt them saying something like this. Yes, I did it because I trust you, but that trust in you made me look like a fool this time. It might sound counterintuitive because you're making yourself look bad or a fool, but this is for a very good reason. When you're dealing with a manipulator and you say words that describe your feelings, such as, you made me look like a fool, I feel so sad about how you treat me or the like, pay close attention to their body language, especially their faces. Someone who feels delighted of doing this to you will show pleasure on their faces. They are confirming that they have power over you and your feelings. That makes them feel good and superior. Now, they won't do it if you are looking directly at them. That's why one of the body language lessons I always recommend in my courses and books is to learn to use your peripheral vision. So you say these words looking slightly away from them, but still paying attention to their faces. In general, any pattern interruption will spark a body language reaction. So it helps a lot to keep an eye on people while you're applying this tactic. At first, it's going to be a bit difficult to keep track of so many signals, but practice makes perfect. There are many other kinds of pattern interruptions, not to mention the ones based on body language. The handshake pattern interruptions are especially useful. So here's my promise again. If this video gets to 10,000 likes, I will make another video about this topic. So let's recap these freshly acquired tools so you can apply them as soon as you finish watching this video. Compliments are the easiest form of pattern interruptions, but only if you use them at the wrong time. Make sure you make them about the person's actions. This is important. Manipulators will use these pattern interruptions to prime your subconscious, not only because everyone likes to receive a compliment, but also because they remind you that you, to some extent, trust them. So it helps to spot these obvious attempts to manipulate you. No matter how you use interruption patterns, it's paramount that you learn to observe people's body language so you can spot their reactions. Learn to use your peripheral vision. 